Hello guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a very presentable plan for presentation drawings. Okay, so the first step is to create a good graphics, especially the walls. So to do that, I'm going to type in the short, the shortcut VV, which means vis visibility graphics. So I'm going to scroll down and look for where I'll see walls. So I'm not going to go to this under this bar this column and change the patterns under patterns I'll change the pattern to solid fill black solid fill change the color to black okay so just to give it a solid fill a solid fill view okay when this is done after this has been done the next thing I'll do is to annotate the rooms so to do that I'm going to go to this architecture bar and click on the room icon to create rooms okay okay that is good so i'm going to tag this room this room is already existing but it's not yet tagged so i'll just tag it okay okay so this room i'll name this as let me name it living area Um, let me name this one the lobby. Can name this one kitchen. Okay, please. Oh, I know some people already start looking at my plans. Please, this is just a sample plan <laughs> before you start finishing me in the comment section. <laughs> okay, so we we'll name this the bedroom, and this the toilet. So this is a good chunk of spaces. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do now is to place some components, that is some furnitures. Okay, so I've already loaded in the components I'll be using. But in case if I want to, if you want to load in a component from you, a, an external folder containing components or a Revit library, click into, you click on this load family icon and simply find where you, your Revit library is to import it. So I'm just going to import one and show you just to show you guys the sample of how to do it. Go to okay, click it. This is my Revit library. So I'm just going to load in one furniture. I'm just loading one this hospital bed. Okay, so I've loaded in a hospital bed, but I'm not going to be using it for this. Um, with um, this project so to place component i simply click on the component icon and let's start in the living room let's start by placing sofas and chairs in this sofa I can, you can also edit some families let me just edit this sofa the width is looking too it's looking too short for me so i think this is the width let me change it to 2.4 okay so i'm going to place it i'm going to select another sofa Let me just adjust this so the space from eating here. Okay. Okay, as I said earlier, this video is not about showing my design skills, so this is just a sample video. So I won't be placing too much emphasis on the whole layout of the plan. Okay. So I'm going to place this plasma television at this wall. I'm going to place a rock. Okay. Then I'm going to place a center table. I think this is okay. This coffee table at the center is okay. So I think this is a pretty good living space. Okay, so I'm going to start placing the sink. The sink here. Then I'll place the the WC, the water closet toilet. Then I'm now going to place the, the shower tray. Okay, so I think this is okay. So this, I'm going to set this. Let me just place this here. Let me just place this. Okay. 
is a bed. But I don't think there's the bed here. I think the bed will have small allowance from this window. So I'm just going to adjust this window. The bed will have some allowance. And I'm now going to just finish this bedroom now. Okay, so basically I've placed the furnitures now. So um, personally, I usually prefer um, the furnitures being in half tone, so they won't be drawing too much attention. So I'm going to override graphics in view. I'm going to set. I'm going to first select one of the furnitures, then override graphics in view by category, then half tone it. Okay, this half tone will reduce the intensity of the of the lines of the furnitures. So I'm also going to do it for this toilet and um, fixtures. By graphics and view, by category half tone. The same for this kitchen yeah, fixtures. By graphics and view, by category half tone. Okay. So after doing that, that's it and done. I'm going to on the color scheme i'm not going to put a color scheme in this plan now so to do that i'll simply go to this prop the properties bar click on this color scheme icon here along the properties bar is currently unknown so i'm going to put rooms by room name and apply so normally sometimes these color schemes usually come with very saturated colors so you can also edit it by clicking on this icon where they are showing the individual colors and just reducing the tone intensity so it will look nice okay so that said and done we're now going to touch on the graphics some aspect of the graphics and rendering a little bit so to do that i'm going to go to the graphics display that is gd with the shortcut gd so that is graphics display options so i'm going to click go to shadows click this cast shadows because i'll still need some shadow effect it's a presentation drawing so shadows help give more depth to the to the furnitures also click on ambient shadows for just more realism and also click this smooth lines with anti as alison alias and whatever okay then you can also click on um, enable sketchy lines and just give it one a little extension so it will look more appeasing then go to the depth clue um, i won't suggest you touch anything here then you can now edit some of the lighting can edit some of the sun to make it high i usually edit the ambient light to around 40 then reduce the shadows then apply okay so i think this you see now how we converted this to a and this looks pretty good i think this is presentable this is how to create a presentation drawing plan okay guys thanks for watching please you can do us a favor by hitting the like button 